Hey, what's going on guys? Fitz here and welcome back to another video of Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Today we'll cover all the artifact skills and my suggestion on what to unlock first. Now I made a video about artifacts and where to collect them previously. So if you haven't watched it yet, do yourself a favor and watch it after this. All right, now there are 10 skills or artifact skills that you can unlock. And if you want to unlock all of them, you have to get or collect all the artifacts. So my guide is out. Check it out if you're looking for the artifacts. All right. Now there are three main tiers on the artifact skills. Top one, the middle one, and last tier. This one right here and this other one is what I call a link. There's only one and you have to unlock them so you can go down to the higher tier or the bottom skills. So let's look at all the skills and then I'll tell you what you should unlock first. First one is a tough guy. Extend crew bleed out time by two turns. Now this is actually pretty good, but early on, I don't recommend that you take this. I have already finished the game and I didn't really need this skill and if you're actually really careful and plan your attack and take care of the surrounding enemies before you engage the main forces then you'll be fine the next skill is the mule unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member now this is actually pretty good but early on you don't really need three grenades per mutant because you already start with two grenade slots and you'll have two mutants right away when you first play the game and basically that will give you four grenades and when you get your third mutant which is also early in the game then you'll have six so two grenade slots will be fine in the early game all right the third skill on the first tier is the deal maker grants a 20% discount in Iridia's shop. So let's head over to Iridia's shop and have a look at what she's selling. Basically, you can buy all the types of grenades, med kits, the guns, and the attachment. And if you notice, there's a number above the item. So that means you can only buy med kits or 28 med kits. And for the pipe gun, there's only one in stock. And if you buy this, then, oh, all right, let, let me buy this. Then you won't be in the inventory anymore. So let's see, let's buy this one. All right, so it will be gone. So that's the Aurelius shop. So 20% discount, I think is the way to go. If you're playing on higher difficulty, then you'll probably need to buy a lot of med kits. So this is the first skill that I recommend you take and obviously you need to unlock this link right here pyromania adds plus one fire damage to molotovs per turn so you don't have any other choice you need to get this so you can go to the next tier all right on the second tier the three skills right here they're actually all of them are pretty good but what i recommend that you take first is the medic improves med kits by plus three hp now if you're playing on the hardest difficulty or even on the normal difficulty there are enemies that you can pick off and then you have to fight them by group and then when things go crazy then this is really really handy that plus 3 HP when you regen is actually pretty big now let's go, go over the remaining two skills on this tier Blaster Master increase grenade damage by four. Pretty handy, but we won't take it for now. Technophobe, additional 10% critical chance against mechanical enemies. Now early game to mid game, you won't really encounter a lot of mechanical enemies and there are other ways to take care of them. So that will be in another video. So I don't recommend that you take it right now. And then after you unlock the medic, then you unlock the zapper. Extend EMP grenade effect by one turn. Early to mid game, this is actually not really good, 
but you don't have any other choice because you really want to unlock the last tier and this is the skill that you need to unlock next the ranger increase weapon damage by one now it may not seem a lot but if you're fighting higher level enemies and also if the fight is extending basically uh, you're missing a lot and you can't kill the enemies then this one may actually help you a lot so ranger increase weapon damage by one now that we have unlocked five skills the next skill that you should get is the butcher additional 10% critical chance against living creatures so that's your sixth skill the seventh one that you should take is the technophobe then the blaster master and then ninth one is the mule the last last one is the tough guy so i'll display a picture right here with the skill order that you should unlock first you don't actually have to follow it but that's just my recommendation and that concludes the video and i hope you guys like it if you have any questions or comments let me know in the comment section below make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.